Hello again, we are Math Blows, and last time we walked you through a simple derivative. So this time, we are going to walk you through a simple integral. Um, real quick, we're going to show you a definition. Don't be scared. Um, it's really easy. Basically, this is what you start off with, um, some x to the n. And then what you do is you take x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 from a to b, and then you take this whole mess right here. We'll do some problems just to get a feel for how to work it. So first we'll start with the function x squared. Um, what we do as, as, seen above, as seen above, you take x to the n plus 1. So right here our n is 2. So we're going to take x to the 2 plus 1, which is 3, all over n plus 1. And 2 is our n, so all over 3 from a to b. So then we, we take our b to the n plus 1, which is 3, all over n plus 1, which is 3, minus our a, n plus 1, which is 3, all over 3. So that's your final answer for what we have. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in some more blanks. <clears throat> Let's take this one. Again, this is just up top, kind of the definition. So here we've replaced a and b with some actual numbers. So we'll take the same one we just did and we'll do it all over. So our n in this case is 2, so n plus 1 is 3. So I'll just run through real quick and fill in all the blanks as far as this is concerned, all over. And right here our a is 1, so we'll put 1. And our b is 2, so we'll put 2. And then over here our b, which is 2, so we'll put 2 to the n plus 1, which is 3, all over 3, minus our a, which is 1, n plus 1, 3 over 3. And we can simplify this further, so to say 2 to the third power, 2 times 4, is 8. So 8 over 3 minus 1 over 3, which is 7 over 3. And that's your final answer. Um, let's do another one real quick. Um, same thing, kind of filling in the blanks. So right here we have 5x to the power of 1. It's not there, but that's just implied that it's to the power of 1. So we do 5x, our n is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 over 2. And then from a to b, which is from 2 to 4. And same thing, just fill in the blanks. So you fill in your x with your b, which is 4. So 5, uh, 4 squared over 2 minus 5, and then do our a squared over 2. And go ahead and work it out. When you work that out, it's going to be 80 over 2, and this one's going to be, I think, 20 over 2, which equals, uh, we can simplify that to 40 minus 10 equals 30. That's your final answer. And that, my friends, is how you do a simple integral. Thank you, and like us, uh, join our channel, and check us out on Twitter. Thanks.